My name is Steve Hurst, and I'd like to invite you on a five-minute tour of my studio in Point Richmond, California. I started doing serious art back in 1974 um, on my own before school, and this is the first oil painting that I ever did. And that I realized that that's what cameras are for, so I never did another photorealistic one. And after I started school, I discovered technical pens and just went crazy developing uh, my own technique. This piece is called Sensuous Forest. And it took about, uh, I worked on that over the course of about two months. It took a real long time to do. And um, I'd like to show you what I'm doing now because of the fact that uh, what started out is just a hobby doing small clocks like these. This is actually the first clock I ever did. And this is the first series I did, of which I did about over 500 of those. But right now I'm doing a series that I um, use drum cymbals for. And I create landscapes on these drum cymbals using uh, finely ground particles of iron that I create rust with. And I use different things, anything from women's jewelry to glass tiles to uh, wrapping it with my sister's dreadlock. <laughs> so I have fun doing all this. This is another one here on my chair with my socks. Um, and that's a Chinese tribute at the bottom. And again, glass tiles. Sometimes I just put things somewhere that don't make any sense. I put that there because I wanted to. And these are some older pieces that I've done. But I'd like to take you on a tour back in my workshop studio where everything is created. So just follow me. You can have a glance at things as we're walking. One thing I love to do is commission pieces. So I'm doing a commission piece right now that uh, hopefully I can finish this today. This is made from mahogany, mud cloth, mother of pearl, pistachio shells, again, more mud cloth, and leather from my sister's husband's pants that he can't fit anymore. Above that is, uh, are two more pieces that are part of the uh, symbol landscape series. And again, this will have flickering lights. I always have to put a diffuser in because LED lights shoot straight, so this spreads the light a lot. And again, this is another one. This is just going to be a piece of illuminated art. I'm not going to make it a clock. And that marble, that blue marble, it's going to shine very brightly. Now, over here to the right, you can see all the pieces that I started before uh, I got ill. And now I'm feeling fine. I can stand. I can work my butt off. So... These are um, all the newest pieces that I hope uh, to finish within the next few weeks. This is my favorite tool, my drill press. <laughs> now come out here with me, I'll show you some older pieces, that uh, illustrations that I've done. That's another pen and ink series. And above that is another one uh, that's pen and ink. And I'll show you some pieces that are hanging in my bedroom. These are um, private pieces, um, but there's a clock there that's called um, Peaceful Michelle. I named it after my friend Michelle, who is just the epitome of peace and love. And to the right of that is an illustration called uh, Macless Beach. Uh, I worked so hard and long on the Macintosh computer in my graphic design career, I would want it out of it. So that's why I named that piece. And a quick sweep around here, and I'm going to take you back to the front. And again, these are some more um, illustrations that I've done in pen and ink and different materials. This is an abstract of my mother, who was just maniacal about cleaning, so that's an old washboard she has. It's, a, it's an abstract. abstract, you have to look at it to see. But anyway, I know I don't have much time, and I'd just like to thank you for uh, looking at this video. Give me a call at 510-932-6085 if you'd like to come, to come by and hang out. Okay? Thank you.